What is up everyone? This is Seth with PageMaker and today I'm going to be going over our mobile first editor. PageMaker is a mobile first editor because we know that's where all of your traffic comes from. Over 80% of all traffic comes from the mobile device and that's where we want you to focus. By focusing on the mobile experience, you're going to be able to create um, a better mobile experience which is going to lead to a higher conversion rate. So when you're on PageMaker, you're going to want to edit in mobile first and everything you edit will, will automatically resize and be responsive in all viewports. For the sake of this demonstration, just to be more visual, I am going to be using the desktop. PageMaker is a plug and play editor. It has one main purpose, generate higher conversion rates. We want to give you pre-made modules that you can use to quickly build and stack to create landing pages in 15 minutes or websites in under an hour that you can use to, to generate more sales, more leads, and more traffic. Anything you wanna edit on PageMaker, you'll notice there is a green highlight box. It goes over images, over icons, over text, and over buttons. So anything you wanna edit, just hover over it, and you'll notice that when you click on it, all the options pertaining to the element line up on the right-hand side. So this inspection panel here, is specific to every element. For example, if I wanted to change the color of this button, I would click on it and you'll notice here I have all the different options for the buttons. If I wanted to change the background color, I'd be able to change it. If I wanted to add a shadow, I'd be able to add it. And that's how PageMaker works. For text, it's the same. You just click on it and change it to whatever you want. On the left hand side, we have elements. These elements are all inside of modules. So for example, this hero section is one module. This testimonial section is another module. And the way we categorize our modules is, we, is after names. And the reason why we use names is because there's an unlimited amount of unique names versus us using a classification system like hero one, hero two, hero three. It would just be redundant and boring. Also, a lot of these modules we name after our members in the community, so we have fun with it. So the way modules and layers work is you're able to edit certain elements as well as make them visible or hidden. For example, if I wanted to hide uh, this button, for example, I would click on it and then I would be able to click on the eye icon and hide it. And that's what you're able to do with the layers in terms of hiding and adding elements. I've already hidden this link, request the call. But if you did want to hide it, you'd click on the element and again, you'll see automatically in the layer section, it will find that element and then all you have to do is just right beside it is hide it. At the top of each module is a gear icon. And this is where you're able to remove the element, move it down or move it up. And it allows you to um, also create global modules, which are going to allow you to create one module that, and use it on multiple landing pages. And all you have to do is just update one module and it'll update dynamically across all the different landing pages you're using. It's mostly used for paid traffic, but I see a lot of people using it for website purposes. These are modules that you only have to create once, then you copy them over into other pages. And when you edit that module, it'll automatically update and publish across all those other landing pages. Then we have copies. So let's just say you design one of the most beautiful modules you've ever seen. You could save it as a copy and reuse it on another landing page. A use case for this is lead generation. Um, if you generated a form module that was showing a high uh, submission rate and you wanted to reuse it on a different landing page, this is where you would copy this module and then you could use it on different landing pages. And we do this all the time for our real estate clients. They'll be using a certain module that they love. So they'll just copy it. And whenever they create a new landing page, they'll just reuse that module because they already know that it's high converting. With PageMaker, you're also able to add sections. So you could add sections to this landing page. We have over 300 different modules. Every single day we're adding more and we categorize these modules by anything you want. If it's countdown timers, if it's call to actions, if it's steps, social, forms, and the list goes on. 
These are one-click modules that you can add. And I'll give you an example. Another cool thing is you could also add that saved module. So remember I mentioned whenever you copy a module, um, you could also import it into a new landing page. And this is where you would go to find those saved modules. I don't have any saves. <laughs> Here we have global modules. So that is what I was discussing before is if I wanted to add a global module, this is where I would go. And this global module, again, is going to be updated dynamically. As soon as I update it on one page, it's going to be updated on all different pages that I'm using it for. And then we have the custom code. So on PageMaker, we allow you to add custom code. This is useful for people that want to embed reviews, embed forms, or add YouTube videos or Vimeo videos. This is a super easy way for you to add custom code. And we also give you the ability to add YouTube videos and Vimeo videos um, by adding the modules. Another cool feature with PageMaker um, is we really wanted to make this quick, fast, intuitive, and easy for you. So we give you the ability to uh, add different elements using a grid system. Let's just say you wanted to have six boxes here. You click on the grid and here on the right hand side, you see we can add as many as we want. This works for anything that you hover over and, and, and has a grid. It works for logos, it works for benefits. For example, if I wanted to add another box and then I wanted to even it out. That's how grids work. Also for colors, um, let's just say I wanted these icons all to be a different color, but it's very time consuming to go and change the color for each. We have something called group editing. If I wanted to change the icons in terms of the group editing, all I would do is say, I'd click on the icon, I'll go over to the right hand side because that's where I edit everything and I'll click on group editing. And then as soon as I change the color, you'll notice it'll automatically change across every single one of them. Here's another grid. I don't know why you would want to add more, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, you could constantly keep adding. And it's automatically going to resize on all your different viewports. See how perfect it looks? So that's how the PageMaker editor works. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, we are very thankful for all of our community members and your support, and we look forward to delivering better technology. Thank you and have